first step is to put the tube in the self-centering tube holder. It's easier to use an impact. That's done. This is the honing head for the Hydraulitex self-centering automatic honing machine. So once the stones are in, you'll insert the key. Take that. Now you're locked in place. Other honing machines are designed to pump the honing fluid through the base of the cylinder. The Hydraulitex machine has a unique design to pump the honing fluid through the shaft directly to the honing stones, and that helps in flushing any metal chips or contaminants while you're honing. With the design of the tube holder being self-centering, the shaft is already centered with the barrel. So it's very easy, you're already lined up. You can grab the shaft, and you're already centered. These are the magnetic stroke limiters. And they can be set at the beginning of the stroke for that sensor and the end of the stroke right here for each tube. This is the automated touchscreen control panel. I want to show you how to get it set up for the stroke limiter. I'm going to turn it on there. And this is the automatic screen. We're going to go over to the manual screen. And we'll turn on the hydraulic pump. And we have the honing head inserted to the front of the barrel. We'll push it forward to find the, butt, the bottom of the barrel. bottomed out. Now we'll come over to our magnetic sensor and we'll place this to start at the bottom so we don't go any further during the automated honing process. Now that we have the stroke limit set, we're going to adjust the pre-feed tensioner to the ID of the barrel. That's a hand tighten feel it once it gets to size. This is your control panel. Right here you have the travel speed. Here you have the honing head turning speed. This is the override control for the automatic honing. If you have a certain spot you want to make a few passes over that's causing you some problems, you can take this and go back and forth on that spot. Right here we have the number of cycles that you'd like to make on the cylinder. This controls your honing fluid on your start and your stop. This is your torque for your honing stones. And this is your uh, load fluctuation. You'll see a readout here while you're honing. This is where you'll set the number of cycles. And you'll enter 10 passes, enter, and now you're set. This machine was designed specifically for hydraulic repair shops. With the ease of use and functionality and the automated features, it saves you time and money. The initial setup for the honing stones start at two and a half inch up to a five and a half inch bore, and you can increase that capacity up to 21 inches with the additional purchase of the master holders and the stone supports. This is the honing oil reclamation tank. It incorporates a filter belt and a magnetic strip system to catch all your particles and metal flakes to ensure you have the cleanest honing fluid possible. This feature we have on the control panel is the lag transition. You'll see right here, we have a 0.2 second delay, which softens the change in direction of the honing head as it moves back and forth. We'll show you how that works right here. Now it's bottoming out. 
change of direction. Another feature that sets this machine apart is the uh, drive system. It is not electrical, it is a hydraulic driven drive system and a hydraulic power unit, which makes this serviceable for most of our hydraulic repair customers. 